So October's Game Pass games might be some of the best this year. I'm Sonny, your host here on Xbox Central, and Chivalry makes its way onto Game Pass today. This 64-player first-person medieval war battles will put players in the fight of their lives as you clash with swords, arrows, and even mounted horse combat. You truly get put into the war with non-stop action, non-stop fighting, and just complete chaos. The game does have 12 different subclasses. You can play the heavy armored knight or stay back and shoot your way with an archer or crossbowman or even be a medic to help those fallen in the battle. Battlefield. One of the cool aspects of this game though is how easy it is just to get into it and have fun right away. The combat mechanics aren't super complicated, they give everyone a chance even if you aren't the quickest gamer, but at the same time if you're good you can make a huge difference. Laying sieges to castles, raging fires all around you, catapults firing off, I mean this is just some of the things you'll see in this game and I'm happy as heck to see this on Game Pass and it's available across consoles, cloud and PC. So staying on the theme of medieval, we have Medieval Dynasty. This is an awesome combination of survival, simulation, and RPG, where you play as a young man who has fled from the brutalities of the never-ending wars to build a fresh new life. Now with no resources or experience, you have to become a master of many skills to lead your small but very passionate community, and you're going to create a dynasty that will be remembered for centuries to come. This is set in the Middle Ages Europe. The game features a vast, gorgeous, open-world landscapes filled with variety of wildlife that players can interact with and then of course having to defend yourself and hunt for food it also features everything that you can expect in many survival rpgs including gathering farming crafting building shelters and even interacting with your village and having to manage them including taking care of your own family and forming alliances across the land make no mistake guys this is a pretty deep title with a ton of content to dive into and it hits game pass on xbox series x and s on october 6. so the walking dead series has been confirmed for game pass with the complete first season and season two and both of these titles are set in the same universe as the famous tv show now i've gotten an opportunity over the years to dive into these guys and the story here especially if you're into post-apocalyptic stories is absolutely gripping from dealing with not only zombies but even shady characters and many many moral dilemmas that you'll come across the choices you make through both games will matter across the seasons and carry over and let me tell you there's going to be some decisions that will be very hard to make from horrible horrible things to really no good answers to even life-saving ones. If you guys are into interactive stories, I really think you're going to enjoy yourself with this one. Both of these hit Game Pass on October 6th across PC. And moving on, we have one of the more relaxing games to come to Game Pass this October and even this year in Coral Island. This is an innovative and completely reimagined farm simulator where you find yourself running away from the hectic life of the big city and trying to spend some peaceful time surrounded by nature and wildlife. Coral Island has everything you'd expect in a farm sim from spending time on crops to raising farm animals and even getting social with other community members living around you and speaking of socializing you can even get into relationships with other singles in this town so there's really a lot you can do in this game and if you love farm sims i think this is totally worth checking out this month when it hits game pass on october 11th next up on the list we have a unique looking game that will definitely cheer up the among us lovers evil is a social deduction game inspired by the likes of werewolves and among us where you have to come up with sneaky ways to betray your friends without letting anyone know except this game looks pretty different and i have to say even more exciting maybe even more deep as well players get to choose between the role of a villager or conspirator each with their own set of objectives to complete when the others are not watching the game heavily focuses on real-time gameplay and interactions to keep the thrill alive until those conspirators are executed or all the villagers are killed evil is set to hit game pass october October 11th across consoles and PC. Well, this month in October wouldn't be a great kickoff with Game Pass without at least one Halloween game, and we certainly have that with Costume Quest, where you choose your own hero and, well, interestingly enough, you trick or treat through the game and the story. What is really a lighthearted RPG filled with tons of humor. If you guys are into the spirit of the holiday this month, this one could be a fun one for you as it hits Game Pass on October 11th on consoles and the cloud. So Dyson Spear programs a sci-fi space simulation game that's received a ton of overwhelmingly positive user reviews from both players and even critics. The game set in a distant future where the AI has led humanity to build a massive ecosystem that spreads across a variety of different planets. Your goal is to create a sustainable interstellar factory by gathering resources from neutron stars, white dwarfs, red giants, or even rocky planets. There's really a lot to explore here, and one thing that I love about this game is that it does feature perceived 
leisurely world generation so every time you replay this game you're gonna get a totally different experience dyson sphere program is available october 13th on pc I can't think guys of another game that looks as bizarre as this one. Scorn is an atmospheric adventure game set in a nightmarish world filled with strange monsters and weird creatures lurking around every single corner and every crevice of this world. Speaking of the game world, it kind of looks like we're inside one of these creatures bodies trying to find our way out and it certainly is a creepy title like none that I've seen this year. Everything inside of this game looks like an unsettling mix of modern technology and a vast living organ and players will interact with this interconnected world using their hands or weapons to unlock different regions in this dark maze. Now, like I said, weapons will exist, but they're going to be very scarce and so will bullets. In a game where you really have to think of the consequences of how you approach each encounter, I have to say in the spirit of Halloween, this definitely won't be for the faint of heart as this hits Game Pass on October 14th on Cloud, PC, and Xbox Series X and S. Now, I've talked about this game a couple times in previous videos, and I just can't be more excited that it's finally coming on the 18th. For those who don't know, Requiem is a sequel to the popular Plague Tale Innocence that took the whole gaming world by surprise with an intense story, brilliant characters, and immersive gameplay. Requiem picks up where its predecessor left off, and unfortunately for the siblings, tragedy has once again followed them to a different town, only this time they're more prepared to fight back and hopefully find a cure to end Hugo's curse once and for all. Requiem is coming to Game Pass on October 18th across PC, Cloud, and Xbox Series X and S. Next up on the list, we have Norco. This is an exciting point and click adventure with absolutely gorgeous pixel art and a really deep rooted story. The game puts you in the shoes of a young man who's trying to find his brother who went missing after their mother's tragic death. But in doing so, he has to explore the different areas of this massive yet very shady city. But there's much more to Norco than meets the eye. The further you get into the game, the more mysteries you unravel about past events, technology, nature, and a lot more. Norco is an excellent blend of complex stories stunning pixel art, and challenging puzzles that really keep you immersed until the very end. Expect to see this on Game Pass on October 20th. Now, the popular JRPG series Persona is back with yet another awesome looking entry into the long-running Persona series, and really it's a JRPG in my opinion that if you guys are new to the genre, this will be a great one to start with. Transferred to a high school in Tokyo, you have a new mission to save others by donning the mask of the Phantom Thief. Being a Persona game, you can expect to unlock a lot of new Persona Personas, explore the vast and unique world, make a lot of new friends, experience alternate endings depending on the choices you make, and the game is fully voice acted in both English and Japanese languages and is expected to hit Game Pass this October 21st in one of my more hype games of the entire month. The next game on the list is Signalis. This is a classic survival horror game where you play as Esther. She's a humanoid replica who's just awakened from a deep slumber without any memories of her past. She's decided to embark on a pretty wild journey to retain those memories while also uncovering some dark secrets about the current regime. Set in a dystopian future, Signalis offers some anime-inspired visuals that really helps bring out the element of the darkness of this game. This title also tells a pretty decent story in a pretty unique way, complemented by its excellent cinematics, and it's one to really watch out for. Expect to see this one on October 27th. Now, if you guys are looking for some thrilling action-packed gameplay, I think Gunfire Reborn might be your best option. The game takes some of the best elements from different genres, including RPGs, roguelike, and even FPS games, to create a fine mix of some exhilarating gameplay. Now, it is a level-based adventure game where you do have all these different unique heroes, each having their own different skills and abilities to fight through some pretty challenging procedurally generated levels. The game does offer a variety of different weapons, and you can choose to take on this battle alone, or you can have the help of of your friends with up to four player co-op modes. Gunfire Reborn is set to drop on October 27th on Game Pass. And that brings us to our final game today in The Legend of Tian Ding. This is an action adventure side scroller based on real life stories of a Taiwanese folk hero and the infamous outlaw of Taipei City. Set in the early 20th century colonial Japanese Taiwan, the game features some really intense beat em up combat with an epic kung fu fighting style. And the game has you fighting colonial authorities, deadly courtesans, 
brutal businessmen and even military personnel all in the name of justice and when you're not doing any of that you can actually join in with the locals playing traditional taiwanese board games to really take the edge off it's a game with a lot of stuff going for it it's really well loved it has tons of positive user reviews and a metacritic score of 80 and it should see a game pass release on october 31st with that guys we do have our games leaving game pass in the middle of the month on october 15th we have six in total with blood roots echo generation into the pit ring of pain sable and the good life as always we have a 20 percent discount if you decide to buy any of these games and if you guys want the best games to play on game pass in 2022 check the video on the screen